Okay. If you don't want earrings, that's okay. Don't know why you'd be watching this video. Because I did not clean. How big you want your hole. <laughs> I love. I love. Hi guys. So, oh, sorry. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi. hi guys. Oh. oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi, hi. guys. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? That's going to be our intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, like five minutes ago, I was like, right, Jess, we <laughs> are going to be filming a how to clean your ears video because today I got my second piercing. So I got my um, ears pierced at Claire's and I got all my other ear piercings from Claire's um, and yeah I got stainless steel three millimeter like silver ball. <laughs> so you currently have five piercings. Yeah. You have normals, seconds and then cartilage. Yeah and then you have a few more. And I have one extra one. I have two here, cartilage, and then three. So basically, a lot of people are getting piercings at the moment, which is great, and we, we love that life. But I feel like a lot of people don't actually know how to look after their earrings. But yeah. basically, I thought we would go through how to clean your ears. And like, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster with my ears because my, my third piercing here and my second piercing on this earring, like, got so badly infected because I did not clean. That. I, oh. When I got my cartilage piercing, you don't know how much it was. It was 50 pounds. But the reason was, I'm so freaking specific with all my jewellery, like all my jewellery, everything is silver. She like, does have a lovely ear. <laughs> <laughs> but like, okay, so the reason my cartilage was it was because I got it pierced at a really expensive place because I was like, I am not getting it infected, which it didn't. Um, and I also wanted a Swarovski crystal. Girl. But I've never changed my cartilage piercing and I've had it now for almost three years. Plus, like yours, it was only three millimetres wide. So I didn't want like a massive hole. I feel like that's also another thing. How big you want your hole. <laughs> no, but this is the thing. Like I've seen so many people with a cartilage, they only get like bar or like the, the hoops. And all of those, like bars and hoops tend to be like five to seven millimetres wide, which mm. for me, that sounds quite like a big hole. <laughs> I'm a Christian. So, basically, thought go we would go through some like life hacks of how to clean your ear piercings. I was given this um, for free. Plus not for free because nothing's for free in life. <laughs> Top tip, if you go somewhere and they're making you pay extra, I just used Boiling water and salt. <laughs> okay, great. So basically, after you get your ear piercings, you should be given an aftercare solution. And if you're not given an aftercare solution, well, that's quite dodgy. Well, I wasn't given an aftercare solution because they told me to use salt and hot water. Oh, really? Basically, you should be cleaning your ears. And I was really surprised. Claire's today said only three weeks, and I've always been told six weeks. I think six weeks. I don't trust this. Essentially, <laughs> your lobes are like the flesh part underneath here. And they should, in theory... She's so nice. She looks so good. She's also the queen of big earrings. Look I, at that. I love... I love... I love... I love a big earring. My lobes should um, heal quicker. But at the same time, I would definitely suggest do not take your earrings out for at least six weeks. And basically, you want to make, make sure that you clean the front of the ear and the back of the ear as well and then give the earrings like one twist one of like the main things i would say is try not to sleep on it and i know that is so difficult and i got my cartilage on the like natural side of where i slept first night i put down a towel on my pillow and then i slept and then i made sure like i slept like that <laughs> like a vampire i think i slept on my front i think i started sleeping on my front <laughs> when i got my cartilage pierced i think i never used to sleep on my front and i got my cartilage pierced i started sleeping on my front <laughs> and now, slept on now my i find it most comfortable <laughs> You breathe. You just do. But like if your head's in the pillow. Well, it's not like fully in the pillow. It's like. like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see my head tilted towards that. Oh, I see. Oh, I've got my piercing <laughs> in. Oh, don't do don't that. Do that. <laughs> now we're going to talk about like when to clean when like your piercings are infected. I had such a time 
with some of my infections that I learned so much about how to care my, for my ears. Okay, so one of my top tips would be, and this is what I learned when I went to the bougie place on, to get my, I've got it, she knows. Oh, <laughs> is these like cotton, cotton pads? Cotton, yeah, cotton wool pads. I know so many salons tell you to use them. Don't use them. Oh. Do you know why? If you like break them. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the amount of like fluff. Basically, that's what, that go in my ear? that could get in your ear and get infected. Oh. Which is why okay. you need to get just sterile gauze, which firstly is actually cheaper and lasts longer than if you get like the cotton pads. Yeah. And you can get this from any like drugstore in the first aid section or you can get it from like big superstores and everything. And it's really cheap. And basically you just cut off a square and then you just do the same thing, but like go That's through so that. Good. Because then it means that like there aren't fibres that get stuck in it. Or reusable cotton wool pads because they don't have the fluffy bit in them. Because I have those, so I'll just use those. I have found, discovered, found, I don't know. I've I've got, in my opinion, the best solution for your ears, which firstly lasts a long time, is cheap, and it's just so great. No no Claire's have left the chat. You can get this on Amazon and it's like super cheap. And it's with prime delivery, so like, if you're like worried, I'll come the next day. Sterile saline. 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 I'm not. Spray. <laughs> there is so much in here. How much? There's 240. <laughs> Hang on. That has 250. Oh, that's all good. That's not. That's all good. <laughs> it's a spray bottle, and you can spray it in any direction, and it will work. <laughs> If you like need to get to the behind your ear oh, and it's really hard, you can, you can spray, spray it onto upside, your ear and upside down. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's so clever. And what I also do is that I also take, I always get like travel size stuff and then I like mm. spray it into here so that when I'm traveling and I need it, I've always got some oh, on the go. Is it liquid? Yeah, literally, that's what it is, that. But as Jess said, if you don't have sterile sal saline solution, boiling water, and like boiling so you... that the salt dissolves yeah but another thing that i discovered and i went online and then like on this like thread forum thing it said chamomile tea so i made a bowl of chamomile tea and i literally sat there <laughs> and had my head that's such a good idea yeah and it is the most amazing thing one thing to say is that like infected ears is actually really normal simple at home care solutions can work and if you are finding like i was really panicked because my ears were still getting infected after six months but actually it takes at least a year for your ears to get used to it so if you are finding that you keep getting infected ears either go to the doctors if you're like finding that there's a bump in your ear or just do any of these at home solutions at least like two times a day for a week and it should clear up how often do you if obviously you've just got your ears pierced but like mm. with your other ear piercings how often do you clean your ears no i don't do that at all do you not no i ten, still clean mine ten years once a week do you yeah what do you reckon we say to the viewers i mean i could make up that i clean mine still why don't you just say maybe i will start to clean mine <laughs> <laughs> i think it's just one of those cleaning things like if you wash your hair and you get shampoo or like for you low poo <laughs> If it gets stuck in your ears, you may show up, not in your ears. <laughs> in the holes. In the holes. Is that when you had sharpie eyebrows as well? Yeah. I mean, they're just like very intense. <laughs> I was blessed with hair growth. Wrapping it up. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've kind of learnt something as <laughs> about ear piercings and everything. Okay, do you know what? That's it. That's the video. Chamomile tea and saline solution are your fabulous friends when you've got infections and everything and i i'm so glad we went and got your kids me too oh my goodness they look so good get yourself friends that if you put an idea out there they will book it for you <laughs> before you commit it <laughs> thank you so much for watching and bye bye like and subscribe oh yeah that, that, that too <laughs> boom